Welcome to another Achieving Science video. This video is all about breathing. First of all, let's have a look at our lungs. Our lungs are supplied with air with, first of all, our windpipe. So this is the tube that goes from our throat down to our lungs, the main pipe. This is called the trachea. The trachea then divides into two branches to go to supply our left and our right lung. These two bron branches are called bronchi. Our lungs are then big sacs then that are responsible for gases exchange. Inside our lungs then, what do we have? Well, inside our lungs we have these little air sacs. These air sacs are called alveoli. These are responsible or the location of where gases exchange occurs. They are adapted in many different ways. They are very thin walled to allow there only to be a short distance for diffusion to occur across. They are moist to allow the gases like oxygen to dissolve into and they have a rich blood supply with many many different capillaries flowing around them so diffusion can be quick. Inside the lungs then Let's have a look at a little bit more detail at this diagram that usually comes up. So the air goes into this air sac first. This is the alveoli wall, which is again one cell thick to allow diffusion over a short distance. Blood then flows around the outside of this alveoli. Red blood cells in particular are the ones that are going to pick up the oxygen, so we're going to look at those. Around the outside, it is a capillary. So there is again a one cell thick wall blood vessel. It is moist to allow the oxygen to diffuse. So blood enters, being deoxygenated. The oxygen flows in, so oxygen then diffuses from the air sac into our red blood cells. The red blood cells then become oxygenated because of the presence of haemoglobin within their blood to form oxyhemoglobin. At the same time, carbon dioxide from our blood is removed, which has been produced by our cells that have respired within our body. So carbon dioxide diffuses out of our blood into the alveoli, ready to leave when we next breathe out. Then the oxygenated blood then leaves our alveoli and therefore is transported back to our heart, where it then can be pumped to wherever it is required within our body. 